Welcome to DLM Network Training and the LMDI 100 Serial Data Interface. In this session, we will be covering the product overviews, the connection types, and the testing and verification of the device. Let's begin by taking a look at the LMDI 100 product overview. With the RS-232 interface, it connects DLM in-room local network to a third-party control system. Plugs to free topology DLM local network, allowing mounting in remote locations. Facilitates combining DLM with AV and shade control systems. And provides access to local network data, including occupancy status. The LMDI 100 serial data interface connects a digital lighting management DLM local network to a third party system for coordinated control of devices, including lighting controls, AV equipment, shade controls, and user interfaces by either system. The LMDI 100 operates on power from the DLM local network and can transmit and receive industry standard RS-232 signals. A built-in protocol allows automatic response to message requests from third-party devices. Message options include queries such as load status, occupancy sensor status, power reading, and other parameter data. Other messages can command scene recall or load operation. The LMDI 100 allows an AV system to control a DLM local network as a slave device. The AV system can be added to the installation at any time and is not required for implementation of code compliant lighting control sequences of operation using plug and go or push and learn. The serial data interface is ideal for use in conference rooms, training centers, auditoriums, or theaters where specialized loads or equipment must be controlled by third party devices. Examples include applications with projectors, mechanical shade control systems, and theatrical lighting. Features include an RS-232 communication at 9600, 19200, 38400, 57600, or 115200 baud with a default of 19200. Integral message protocol eliminates the need for interface configuration. Status LEDs for transmit and receive allow simple verification of connectivity. UL2043 plenum rated, ROHS compliant, and qualifies for ARRA funded public works projects. The LMDI 100 is connected to the DLM local network just as any other DLM device. It's connected using the in room bus CAT5 and is tied to the third party system via RS-232 data wiring. There are several different LMDI 100 connection types available. These connection options include data terminal equipment or DTE with flow control, data terminal equipment DTE without flow control, data communication equipment DCE with flow control, or data communication equipment DCE without flow control. The first option is for a DTE device connection with flow control. Use the connections as follows. Using pins 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10 of the LMDI 100. The second device type is a DTE connection without flow control. Use the connections as follows using pin 1, 2, and 10 of the LMDI 100. The third connection type is a DCE device connection with flow control. Connect the device as follows using pins 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10 of the LMDI 100. The final device is a DCE device connection without flow control. Wire as follows using pins 1, 2, and 10 of the LMDI 100. Let's talk about the LMDI 100 testing and verification process. There are several required pieces of hardware and software. First one is the FTDI chip, USB, 
RS-232 WE-1800 VT cable, version 5.0. Secondly, you'll need the FTDI chip drivers. And lastly, you'll need a terminal client. Hyper terminal, TerraTerm, PuTTY, etc. The required USB to RS-232 cable can be purchased from ftdichip.com and is shown below for reference. The FTDI chip cable pinouts are as follows. This can also be found in the PDF data sheet using the link above. Use the following wiring method to connect the FTDI chip cable to the LMDI 100. Please note that you need to tape the red wire back against the insulated jacket of the cable. The red wire is not used. The next step is to download the FTDI chip drivers. FTDI chip cable drivers can be found and downloaded using the link above. Download the executable file for the VCP or virtual COM port drivers from the FTDI website. Run the executable as administrator on your computer. Connect the USB cable to your computer after you have successfully installed the drivers. You should see a new COM port available in your computer's device manager. Record this new COM port number. The final step is to open a terminal session. The following slides will go through the process of testing the communication to the DLM room through the LMDI 100. In the examples provided, the terminal software used is TerraTerm, but any terminal session software will work. It is important to have a copy of the LMDI 100 Serial Data Interface Host Commands.pdf document available for testing. This will provide a list of the available commands as well as connection instructions. PDF is available at the Wattstopper website. You should leave a copy or email the host commands document to the owner operator in case the programmer for the third party system is unavailable. Open TerraTerm or your desired terminal session software. Set up the session serial port connection settings as follows with your COM port, baud rate at 19200, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow control none. Once connection is established, you should be able to press the enter key and see the TX LED on the LMDI 100 flash with each press of the key. The LMDI connection interface doesn't issue a command prop, so you will not be able to see the commands as you type. You will only be able to see commands to and responses from the LMDI 100 after pressing enter. For a list of available commands, type help and press enter. Please note that you do not include quotes with commands. The easiest way to perform a quick test is to use the load command. For example, type load to zero, which will drive load number two to zero percent. After pressing the enter key, and if communication was successful, the LMDI 100 will return the command and you should see the expected change on the desired load in the room. You can also command the LMDI 100 to read back the current status of every load in the room by typing get load and pressing enter. This will return every load in the room as well as their percentage. This concludes the LMDI 100 training session. Thank you for viewing the LMDI 100 Serial Data Interface Training Module.